Welcome to Game Guru Classic and Game Guru Max live broadcast number 120 something. <laughs> Go look it up. A Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to everyone who's tuning in. As you may have guessed, this isn't exactly live. This is what we would call a pre record because Lee and team are off enjoying themselves in the Christmas break and will be ruined to go next Wednesday for the first live broadcast of 2023. And as you might imagine with a pre-record, you're probably distracted with other activities, so we'll keep this nice and brief. Starting with classic, you've got this, which is the five, count, uh, that's right, five bugs since we got to a zero bug count with our last Christmas, what we call our December fixes for the last one of 2022. So these have come in since then. Um, the reason I mention it before we move on to Game Guru Max is if you are using Classic and you have uh, an issue, you experience an issue that you want fixed, please, please, please do post it in this issues board. And the next update, which I think is scheduled for March 2023, we will fix as many as we can and put them into the update so you can carry on with your Game Guru Classic game creation. But without further ado, let's get on to something that I actually do have to show, which is Game Guru Max. Okie okay, okay. what have I got to show you today? Well, if you were tuning into last Wednesday's live broadcast, I did hint at the possibility that we would release um, VR support, an early version of VR support as a Christmas present. Um, it is the 28th, so it's, it's two, three days afterwards, but I am quite pleased to report we've added it into the build. In fact, this is coming a little bit late. We actually released this version, the EXP build, on, if you can look at my bottom right screen, the 24th. So anyone savvy enough to keep their Steam on all the time and have been constantly checking the EXP build, the experimental build, you might have found this tick box before Christmas. Therefore, Christmas present delivered to some <laughs> lucky boys and girls. And let me show you how to activate it. It's super simple. Obviously, it goes with it saying you need a VR headset, one that's compatible with OpenXR. Go into settings, go into developer mode, and you'll find a new section called VR support. And I've added a little bit of extra information for you. This is an early one, so we can keep, we can keep changing this as required. Ensure you have uh, correctly configured your open XR runtime as OpenXR needs to know which VR device you are using. And I mention this in this broadcast because it's very important. OpenXR is still relatively new and the runtime that you're using for OpenXR may be different. If you've got multiple headsets, that runtime setting is hidden in the registry and you've got to use proprietary tools to change that runtime version. If you only have one headset, it's probably already set up. But I just wanted to mention that I have multiple devices. I've got Oculus, and uh, Oculus Quest, the Oculus Desktop one. And I've recently reconnected my Index, uh, the Valve Index one. But my runtime was still set to Oculus. And for the first couple of runs, the VR didn't work. And I thought, oh, I'm going to have to go in and start fixing VR code. It was nothing to do with that. The VR code was fine. It was just, it had the wrong OpenXR runtime. So uh, if you are using Steam, if you go into the Steam VR, there's a set it setting where you can activate show all settings, go into developer, you'll see a button which switches your OpenXR runtime um, to use the, the, the Steam one, the Valve one. And if you are using Oculus, Oculus app also has a button buried in there somewhere which will switch the OpenXR runtime to use the Oculus driver, uh, the runtime driver. So that's very, very, very important, otherwise you're not going to get very far. If you manage to get past all that, all you're really going to do in Game Guru Max is tick this button. Enable Experimental Preview. I've done a bit of jiggery poker, so you don't have to leave Game Guru Max and relaunch. It'll actually do an initialization. In fact, it already did the initialization when you tick that. So all you've got to do now is click this new button. If I just go back, I'll show you that you can switch it on and off. So VR button disappears, it appears, disappears, appears. Uh, and so this is the icon you want, test level in VR. So we'll select that now. Let me just grab my headset and my controller. You don't see it, but I can. But once I put it on my head, you'll see what's going on. So this is, uh, for those who don't know, the Off-World Station booster pack. Get the glasses off. And I'm now in VR. And so you, this the, the screen that you see is exactly the screen I see. You'll probably see it more stretched. Um, 
and I actually see it correct. Now, one thing I want to mention, and you might be able to see it on the screen, is you might notice that the open, um, sorry, the off-screen station is a little bit slow by default. That's because we've had a lot of lights added to it, and the shadows take a long time to render. So this is a nice little tip if you've got the off-world station booster pack and you don't have a monster graphics card, knock these down and you'll get a faster frame rate which is super useful in VR when you have to render the entire scene twice. So for my purposes, I've just made my frame rate a little bit better. I think it's up to the black. I have a, a kind of an older AMD card at the moment, so it, uh, it, it'll be running about 30 FPS. There's still things we're going to do on the performance side, but we'll do it when we get to the DX12 upgrade. But as you can see, I can move around with my controller, push forward, push backward, uh, left and right is just a 45 degree turn. You can see we've got a glass room and that's where we want to get to. So we're going to navigate uh, in that direction. So I can push forward, trigger button will open the door to right, give me 90 degrees, to right, gives me another 90 degrees. You can press the trigger button, it's the equivalent of the E key. We'll probably change that in the final version of Montelite, an interact action. And then go through this door. And then eventually we get to this spot, which I think is pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, as I said, very early version. <laughs> it's, it's backwards. That's the uh, sentence, uh, rotated 180 degrees. But if you can sort of translate it, it says trigger to turn switch off. And you see there's a door over there, we do the switch, changes the colour of the light, opens the door, we press the button again, turns the light to red, closes the door, we want it open, and that's our first little puzzle. Um, and it's all done in VR. Now, there's another bug. There will be a few bugs, you notice that the door took a little time to open. Might have something to do with the, um, uh, the machine independent speed. I remember there was a bug reported on the issues board connected to how fast animations run. So as you can see that door is now open, that was previously closed. Do another 90 degrees, we're going to go up these steps, like so, open this door. And here we go, this is the control station. If you remember last week's broadcast, we showed you how to have animating textures. If we go here, you can see that we've got animating screens. And over here, we've kept those screens dark. Now, you might be able to see it, but I can actually move my head in all six degrees of freedom, so I can get close to the keyboard, further away. PBR is very, very cool indeed. You can look at this side of it, that side of it. That's one of the benefits of, say, the, uh, the Valve Index. In fact, a lot of the modern headsets will let you do that. Something else I just want to show you before, I don't want to exhaust this point, suffice it to say you now have an early version of VR support, is this. Now you probably don't really get to appreciate what you're looking at here, you've probably seen this on your monitor, happy days. Uh, effects that use decals, which is a flat quad with an animation on it, in VR, look like a flat piece of cardboard with something animated on it. This, what I'm looking at here, is a volumetric particle effect, and in VR, it looks correct. It is actually a three-dimensional swirling cloud of particles, and that's exactly what you want in your VR, VR experience. So all of the current effects that currently would be in a decal, we're switching them all over for the VR support so they use volumetric effects such as that. That way nothing looks out of place. Um, you can get away with decal animations if, for example, this. Because it's a flat screen, you'd expect it to be flat, but it's in context, it looks correct. Um, and yeah, I think I'll probably end the demo there, but I just wanted to mention that you don't really see it, you're probably going to need to grab yourself a, a headset and then try out this experimental VR support. But the idea that as a move your head left and right, sorry for the squeaky, I need to put some WD-40 on my, uh, my office chair. Look how the light changes because of the PBR materials. PBR really goes up a notch when you're in VR because all of the things like this controller, you see it, the light shining off it. All of those calculations for every single pixel that's been rendered to the VR headset is true to life, physically based lighting. 
sorry, physically based rendering. So that's the VR support. Um, looks really good in the off-world station booster pack. Will equally look great in any game that you've created, where you've put some effort into some nice visuals, and uh, there's more on the way. There are some models. You see we've got this controller. It's not quite appropriate. I think this is the Quest. This is the Quest controller. And as you may know, there's something like nine or ten different VR solutions now, and you'll probably want a controller representative of each one of those. Or not, because we don't really want to see the controller at all. We want to see a hand. Or we want to see a weapon or something you pick up and use as a tool like a torch or a scanner um, which is some of the things we'll be looking at in 2023 so let me just take the headset off uh, and put my glasses back on um, and i hope that was self-explanatory get the latest exp build if you don't know the code um, it's in last week's broadcasts um, comments so go to last wednesday's check it it's called the beta code Enter that into Steam and you get to see the EXP version um, and then you can get access to this latest update which will give you access to the, just to <laughs> badger the point, developer tab and then VR support and tick this on. This button will appear, click it and providing you've pre-configured your OpenXR headset you'll be able to run around in VR with your controller of choice. And just to give you uh, the easiest possible route don't start with this. Go If you're using your, your Valve, initialize and set up your device on Steam. If you're using Oculus, use the Oculus Store app to set up and test your device. Once your device is up and running, it's highly likely your OpenXR um, runtime is already configured and then you can run Game Gear Max. When you take that button and click that um, little mask there with the VR headset on, it'll run out of the box. So this is a pre-record, this is not live, so we're not going to go to Q&A. However, I just want to hint at, if you go to Discord, and we need some coordination here. We have launched it at the same time, this has been a scheduled recording, and you'll find this. So I invite you, I can't be there personally, but I totally invite you, if you like, go to that particular link, it is in the YouTube description and you can have a chat about what you've seen today. Uh, that's it from me. It will be another seven days from now when I'm talking. So Wednesday, the I think it is the, the 4th. January the 4th, Wednesday, will be the next live broadcast where I get to talk a little bit more about what's been happening between now and seven days from now. And yes, I am going to do a little bit of work between now and then as a few little things I'd like to get out before we start the new year in earnest. So I hope you enjoyed the reveal. Um, I was really pleased that I could get you an early version of VR support for Christmas. So please enjoy that if you're lucky enough to own a VR headset. So until next Wednesday at 7 p.m. GMT, I shall say Merry Christmas, have a Happy New Year and speak to you all soon. Until then, goodbye.